friends, welcome to Read Around the World with Stacy. Today we're going to read How to Catch a Class Pet, written by Alice Wallstead and Andy Eckerton. Well friends, I've made activities to go along with this book. If you click on the description box below, all the information's there. Well friends, don't forget to click that subscribe button. How to Catch a Class Pet Summer was great and we had so much fun. There was biking, camp, and the pool. Now we all have a new place to go together. We're all off to school. Playing outside as we wait for the bell, we have not seen our new classrooms yet. New teachers, lessons, books, and friends. And we know each class has its own pet. There are fish, turtles, snakes, and frogs, plus a dragon. What more can you ask for? We're having so much fun playing outside and can't wait to see what's through that door. We all went inside to our classrooms, but there wasn't one pet to be found. It seems they all watched us this morning and escaped for recess on the playground. Now outside is crawling with class pets galore. So in our class, we drew traps to look at. They figured out how to escape all at once. Who knew there was something called pet chat? Lunchtime came and we ran to the slide to discuss who would catch what critter. It looked like there were nine on the loose. Not easy, but no one here is a quitter. That's not a kid on the monkey bars. From here, it looks like a stick. But sticks don't slither or wriggle around. We better get over there quick. So many kids are playing and running. Then we see a commotion on the slide. Something is rolling down from the top. Who knew that fur balls could speed glide? This should be easy cause this pet is so slow. Let's ask those kids playing wall ball. Nope, didn't see anything over here. He can't be far, he moves at a crawl. Got to go faster, we're running out of time. Check out the people playing Foursquare. That ball sure took a really high bounce. Hold on. There are two things midair. There, on the swings. Just how is that moving? There's nobody sitting on the top. It's not really windy, and don't think it's a ghost. A hermit crab? How will she stop? Still haven't found the rat, dragon, or spider. But let's play. There's a rock wall to climb. Wait a minute. This part is so sticky. Hmm, we wonder, was he here this whole time? Teachers are calling and lunch break is over. Doesn't look like we caught any pets. What was that? Did a rat leave the tube? Maybe we just need better nets. We never did find the dragon. Finding him might take us forever. Well, at least the fish didn't get out. You'd think they'd be bored, but whatever. Wow! How? The pets are all back! Every kid let out a big cheer! Can't wait for what happens tomorrow. It's going to be a great year. What a fantastic book! Those kids had such an adventure trying to find all those class pets and trying to catch them too. Well friends, until next time, bye!